it's autumn the apples are not all perfect but if you follow this recipe for apple chutney they will be enjoy oh, there they go. Well, as you can see, there's no shortage of apples here, many of them a bit wonky. But with the other ingredients and spices, it's going to turn out rather special. So, we've got the different spices, the cinnamon sticks, the star anise, the cloves, the cumin, the fennel seeds. We're going to start by melting the butter and adding the onions till they're soft. That won't take more than a few minutes. And we don't want them to discolour, so we're not putting them on too high a heat. So looking okay there. And when they have softened up, then that's the time when we can add the other ingredients. We'll start by putting in the spices, give it a little stir, add the chilli, the walnuts, the apples, sugar of course, and then the dried fruit. I can't help picking at that myself and breaking it up into little bits. Give it a good old stir and then it's time to add the cider vinegar and there's not much else to it so after 10 to 20 minutes it's cooked allow it to cool down and then it's time to simply bag it up and the reason for bagging it up is simply so we can pop it in the freezer and do this without having to deal with all those jars and cleaning them and all that stuff so back it up once you've done that just tie a knot and then hey presto we're ready to put our little balls in the freezer and then just pull them out one at a time when we need them so simple <laughs> 